The financial giga chads keep winning. Let's have a look. Good evening, everyone. Florian here, and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your shine of coffee, and we're going to look at a story from a viewer who has, well, successfully paid off their mortgage. Now, I've taken a few days off creating content. Uh, it, honestly, it started as Rachel and I going on a planned baby moon, and then an insane amount of work, kidding, that needed to be done really quick. So I just had a very, very hectic week. And so I'm not 20 anymore, honestly. So when I do a 17-hour day, I kind of need a few days to recover now. So it shows you, hitting, getting older, guys, you know. Enjoy it while you're young. But let's get started and have a look. I thought uh, for a comeback video after, well, probably the longest, the longest run I've had without creating videos since I committed to doing daily uploads probably back in 2018, I have to think. Before that, I actually started in 2017, and but videos were like six months apart then. Anyway, so let's have a look at this article. Well, no, uh, it's no, an article. A Facebook message sent by a viewer. So, hi, Florian. Let me draw over this. Long-time viewer here, and I just thought I'd share with you my story of how I accidentally... See, so this is the ultimate Giga Chad move. You don't even pay off your mortgage on purpose. You pay it off accidentally. Or he's going to teach us a super alpha secret move to getting the bank to forgive you that last 100 bucks. It's called being more of a pain in the ass than you're worth. So I accidentally paid off my mortgage in under four years as a single parent earning less than $100,000. Before I begin... I'm fully aware that in today's market with current interest rates, I would have no chance in doing what I've done. So although I worked hard and saved money like crazy, most of my sex success has come down to lucky timing. Now, that's a very uh, insightful clarification there because other people would, would, well, they'd turn this into a bloody um, YouTube course or a Facebook course and start selling tickets to it. I mean, how many of the boomers that have made a fortune on their property, uh, it's mainly due to luck, isn't it? How, ma how many of us, honestly, how many of you who've made shitloads on the value of your property, if, is it anything other than luck? It's just luck. So, I'm a 34-year-old single father, so a single dad with two young children. And for most of my adult life, I've been a self-employed specialist cleaner. Now, he doesn't explain what specialist cleaning he does. I'd be interested to know if it's like construction site cleaning, which is good money too, or if it's it's like you know cleaning up crime scenes, or there's even a YouTuber that, that cleans up septic tanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there watching shorts about a guy cleaning septic tanks. That's the future. That's what we use technology for. But okay, so self-employed, self, -employed, self uh, you know, own businessman. I've never earned over 100K, and most years my taxable income has been around fifty to sixty thousand dollars. So he's well, he's below the the average income of what ninety grand now. And he still managed to do this. When my previous relationship broke down in twenty seventeen, sorry to hear that, mate. I was lucky you got the kids. For a bloke. I was lucky enough to move in with family with my children and live rent free while staving like crazy for a house deposit. So this is the thing. His family were there to have his back and he didn't waste the opportunity. By mid-2019, by mid-2019, so in two years' time or two and a half years, I had 90 grand and after meeting with a few brokers, I was ready to go and buy my first home. After viewing a few houses, I made an offer on a 4-2 in Ridgewood on 620 squares at $295,000 that was accepted. With my 90K deposit, I was lucky enough to only have a mortgage of $206,000 with a low 2% interest rate. I mean, th there you go. The property had tenants halfway through a 12-month lease, which meant I could stay living with family and put extra money into the mortgage and sort furniture, etc. So... He had the tenants in there. They were paying off the mortgage for him. 
if not making more money on it, prom- honestly, with 206 grand on 2%. Because th- this is the thing, guys. These low interest rates we have, or we've had, some of us still have it, it's not real, okay? It's not going to stay like that forever. We all know, well, hopefully we all know that. All the viewers of the channel know that. There are going to be some normies out there that are shocked. But, I mean, they'd be shocked if they, if they had to go to the toilet, you know, that, that, that anything normal in life would shock them. When COVID came, I gave the tenants four to five months of extension on the lease as it was a tough time moving with COVID restrictions. By the time we moved in in late 2020, I'd put a significant dent in the mortgage. I'd sold my 30 grand four-wheel drive and bought a 2K crawler. So he'd done the, the old Dave Ramsey, buy a junker. And I mean... There's nothing wrong with Corollas, honestly. You know, a four-wheel drive, they burn a lot of petrol. A little car like that's all you need. It's all you really need. I wasn't the coolest dad at school rocking the old Cor- Corolla and drinking 7-Eleven coffee. Mate, you're never going to be the cool dad, <laughs> okay? Isn't there like there's some rock star with his teenage daughter just thinking, oh, how uncool is dad? Yeah, that, that's, that's evolutionary. The kids, the, particularly the daughters and the sons, they're meant to... Um, go out and find another partner in another tribe. So that, that's why they don't think we're cool, even though we all know we're supremely cool, 100%. keep telling myself that. But I knew that smashing down the mortgage would be a worthwhile long term. Fast forward to this year, and in under four years, I'd paid my mortgage right down to a balance of less than $100. I'd paid 180 grand in advance. And each month I redrew the monthly loan amount to keep the account open so I could have access to the 180K in case I needed the funds. Now, I've, I think EE, Dave from EEV Blogs, he mentions that using your own house and the way to access the money. Um, yeah, I can understand that. I can appreciate that. One morning last month, I opened my internet banking to see my mortgage account wasn't listed. I thought it was a glitch at first until I noticed a closing statement from the bank showing the balance less than $100 had been waived. So there you go. He didn't even have to pay off the whole bloody mortgage. He paid 180 grand in advance and he was probably more of a pain in the ass for them to keep the account open that they just forgave and said, yeah, come on. I called the bank to confirm and sure enough, I'd paid off my mortgage in full by accident. Although my mortgage was only small, it's always had an effect on me knowing I was in debt to the bank. Since paying it off, I feel so much more relaxed and stress-free. Oh, man, I bet. I bet. Having that weight off your shoulders. You're a free man now. You just got to pay everything to the government every year. Guess when taxes are due, guys. I grew up poor in a single-parent household in government housing and never, ever thought... I would be fortunate enough to be in a position to buy. Well, you're wrong there, mate. You did it. Congratulations. Cheers to paying off your mortgage by accident. In 2019, there were plenty of 4 by 2 houses in Perth, northern suburbs for under 300k. Today, in the same suburbs, these houses are being sold to eastern state investors for nearly double the 2019 prices before they even get listed. My house that I purchased for 295 Less than four years ago is now worth upwards of 550k. There, there you go. So even even the WA, the West Australians are complaining about us Easterners going over there and buying. And here in Queensland, we're complaining about the Sydney and Melburnians. And in Melbourne, they well, they're complaining about everyone because they're the woke state. And Sydney just doesn't care. <laughs> As I still, do, still don't earn a lot of money, I'm unlikely to make financial investments in the future unless there is a significant turn in the markets. So over the foreseeable future, I plan to live mortgage-free and stress-free and maximize a healthy work-life balance. Now that's, I'm just checking here to make sure everything's been recording while I've been doing this. That's fantastic. Let's, let's have a bit of a chat about this one, guys. So there we have it. A financial giga chad success story. He's managed to pay off his mortgage by accident in only four years. Sure, it wasn't a it wasn't a crazy mortgage. Okay, he he didn't. Well, I 
Yes, he was in Perth. And there were still some affordable houses. There usually are some in most cities. We need to do another. We used to do the Twitch live streams, remember? We need to do another one where we look for starter houses. 300 grand with a 90 grand deposit, he decimated it. Sure, there were some situations that worked to its advantage. He had family there, but he could have just wasted his money and pissed it away. But no, he didn't. He doubled down. He got it done. He even sold his car. The luxury item that you know gave up driving the nice flash car to go a shit box because it's worth it. I mean, what lessons can we learn there? So, guys, I thought I'd share that video as uh, my first one returning from my little holiday. Thank you very much to the viewer who sent that to me, completely unsolicited. I actually really needed that because I received it the day after. I'd done like a 17-hour project and presented to the client. It all went well, but I was I was bloody dead tired. <laughs> so, guys, take care. Have a great night, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now. Still can't mute the audio. I'll, I'll get that set up. I'm getting there, guys. It's getting sorted. Give me some time. <laughs>